Long story short, I went to Ikea and picked up a plant and the supplies to make a Linmun hamster enclosure. This is not a tutorial, I lost clips filming this, so it's just me building it, so enjoy! These are the supplies I purchased. The rest were things I already had on hand at home. So I got three of the Linman tabletops, one of the Hemnes glass tabletop, screws, furniture braces for the glass and for the lid, one fourth inch hardware cloth, and two one by two by eight spruce strips. This came to a grand Canadian total of $102.53. This doesn't really matter as cost is going to vary. For example, I know this enclosure is a lot cheaper to make if you live in the US. So to start, we took one of the Linman tables and cut it exactly in half. These are going to be your side pieces. Then we took another Linman table and only cut off 5.27 inches. This is going to be the back and we cut this piece off so that it would fit even with the rest of the pieces. And the last table doesn't need any cuts as that's going to be our base. I had to put wheels on mine so that's what I started doing with the help of my assistant JJ who helped supervise me mark out and drill the holes for the wheels and then of course attach all four of them. Next, I marked out four holes on the base to attach the back and drilled those. Pre-drilling holes makes attaching things a lot easier. I also think this goes to show it is possible to build a cage all by yourself, though having another person to help is uh, much preferred as here I am lifting the enclosure onto its side while one and a half screws are still in it. Um, this just made it easier for me to get the rest of the screws in. Then it's time to drill three holes in the side pieces and then attach onto the enclosure. Keep in mind the tabletops are mainly cardboard insides, so when attaching to the side of the enclosure be careful not to drill too far or else the side will come loose. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but you'll probably understand if you ever try to build this enclosure. Then I just repeat the process on the other side. Now it's time to attach the glass, which I mark out the spots I'm going to attach the furniture braces on to hold the glass in place. I use three braces on the bottom and then two on the top on each corner. I also went ahead and painted the outside white to match the rest of the enclosure. And now it's time to make the lid. I use this method for all of my enclosures, I just change the measurements as needed. So I first start by measuring the outside of the enclosure. Then I head to my parents and I use their tools because I don't have these tools at my house. I decided I wanted two lids so the measurements were going to be cut in half. Using some tin snips we cut out two pieces of the mesh and then in total cut eight pieces of wood for our frame. Usually I would glue the frame together first, but for some reason we did the opposite by stapling the mesh to the wood and then putting wood glue in the cracks and added clamps. Once that was done, I painted them and then I added handles. 
The last step was to silicone the inside to secure everything together really good and then also fill in any small gaps if there were any. I used 100% silicone and once applied I just used my finger to wipe as much excess away as possible. Um, using a soapy water can usually help but this process is my least favorite one to do. And then the enclosure is complete! In total, measuring from the inside, this enclosure has 858 square inches of floor space, and I now have three enclosures, which likely leaves you confused and wondering why, but you'll have to deal with that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!